Oh man, Jonah Crab, Shrimp Cocktail, look at this, Dungeness Crab, Snow Crab, it's a crab feast. Oh, look at the meats. Prime Top Sirloin and Porchetta. Hello everybody, it's Explorer Vegas and today we are back at the Palms Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas. We are back at the AYCE. It's Thursday night and they have a new crab feast night here on Thursday nights. Can't wait to go in and check it out. The AYCE buffet at the Palms is really starting to gain in popularity and it should. Take a look at this lineup. They have lobster on Wednesday nights, crab feast on Thursday nights, prime rib and snow crab on Friday nights. Oh man. Tonight you are in luck. We are going to show you the brand new Thursday night crab feast. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, sit back, relax, and we are going to show you all the dishes. First up, we have the cheese and charcuterie board. There's some butter on the side as well. Some bread too. You know it's crab feast night. We're getting right into it with shrimp cocktail and Jonah crab claws. Looks super fresh too. All right, here's the toppings for the salad. I see blueberry balsamic. Blue cheese, ranch, Asian sesame, Italian dressing. There's some eggs, shrimp, grilled chicken, some kidney beans, even some tofu, bacon, olives, Parmesan cheese, mixed cheese, jalapenos, croutons, toasted almonds, and dry fruit. Here's cocktail sauce, some red tartar sauce, and lemon wedges. Here's some mixed greens. They got some Caesar salad, some baby spinach, What's next over there? Let's see. Here you got a wedge salad. That oh, looks fancy. Panzanella salad. Here you got Jamelli pasta. Some strawberry spinach salad. Seafood ceviche. Creamy crab salad. Oh yeah, crab fest. I like how they do it here. They have another section with some Jonah Crab Claws and Shrimp Cocktail. This way, the lines are a little bit shorter. Wow, they have spicy drawn butter. Look at this. You can see the spices in there. Some corn chowder. And regular drawn butter. Hey, you know it's gourmet if they're giving you two kinds of butter for your crab. Let's take a look at the smoke and fire section. Start things off with a roast fair day, smoked beach mushrooms, frijoles charros. They have a made to order taco section. You got some corn tortillas and some taco meat. And over here, this is Carving Station 1 of 2. Let's take a look at what they have. They have kielbasa sausage. And look at this, beef brisket. That looks like a masterpiece. You have some condiments for the tacos and the meat. You have pickled onions, chipotle salsa, tomatillo salsa, chicharrones, classic barbecue sauce, and tangy barbecue sauce, and others. Let's take a look at the hearth section. They have another live cooking station. It's the pasta station with sausage, shrimp, tomato, onion, spinach, pepper, or cheese. You pick what you like. Everything in there looks fresh. Over here they have some pepperoni pizza. I see grilled olive oil focaccia. Cheese pizza. Here's some chef's pizza. Here's roasted salmon and couscous. And here's some more for the crab feast. It's dirty rice with soft shell crab. Here's veggie lasagna. Here's some roasted vegetables. Crawfish boil. Here's more of the crab. Here's the snow crab legs. 
and the AYCE never disappoints me. They have Dungeness crab legs as well as snow crab legs, steamed, fresh, and delicious looking. Let's take another closer look here. All right, let's have a look at the roastery section. We're gonna see the next carving station here. First up is roasted Hawaiian gold pineapple. Here's some roasted vegetables. Balsamic glazed grilled baby peppers. Over here they got some grain mustard, chimichurri, pickled vegetables, romesco sauce, chili pepper water, and horseradish cream. All right, let's take a look at the carving. We have prime top sirloin, rosemary garlic porchetta, roasted chicken. Those look fresh and yummy. Here's green chili mac and cheese, some brown gravy, brown butter mashed potatoes. Here's southern hot chicken, smoked ham hock and greens, corn on the cob with Old Bay butter. Here's grilled barramundi. Next, a look at the world pan section. First up, some steamed white rice in the rice cooker. Here's some ginger wasabi and soy sauce. Here's some assorted sushi. Looks like they got some Philly rolls in there. Here's spicy salmon pokey. Some more assorted sushi. There's the California rolls. Here's Jamaican jerk chicken. Vegetable chow mein. Here's some vegetable and egg fried rice. And another crab section. They have more Dungeness crab and snow crab here. I love that they put two lines together and there's some drawn butter at both too. Look at those Dungeness crab legs. And the snow crab legs. Here's pork pot stickers. Pork and shrimp shumai. Some dim sum sauce over there. I see some cocktail sauce and lemons and red tartar sauce. Oh, there's some seaweed salad as well. All right, let's take a look at the revival section. Here's jackfruit coconut curry. Here's eggplant caponata creamed French lentils, some roasted Brussels sprouts, Southwest nachos, ooh, those look pretty good, kale hummus grilled pita, some spinach noodle salad, baby kale salad. All right, the sweet and light section for all those with a sweet tooth. They have quite the assortment of desserts. I see some pudding. There is some Rice Krispies treats with chocolate on top. Looks like creme brulee, but it's probably a custard. Some strawberry cake, tiramisu. Those look like blondie brownies. There's a lemon meringue. That looks like cappuccino. Those are chocolate cupcakes. The Mexican wedding cake. There's some cannolis. Looks like some green tea custard. There's some assorted jello. Don't forget the cherry. That one looks like a mango custard. More jello. There's strawberry shortcake. And that one looks like an Oreo custard. They have some assorted cakes and pies. There is a disclaimer that they may contain some nuts. I see carrot cake, cheesecake, chocolate cake, some blueberry pie on the bottom there. And don't forget about the gelato. They have espresso, vanilla honeycomb, purple yam, spumoni, salted dolce de leche, mint chocolate chip, passion fruit, coconut, strawberry, and mango. You have some assorted toppings for the gelato. Looks like a s'mores brownie some assorted cobbler and bread pudding. And there's some cones for the soft serve ice cream. They have chocolate and vanilla or the mix. 
If you want some of those candies on the top shelf, those are display only. But request some, they can give you some. We are here with Chris, who is the chef de cuisine of the AYCE here at the Palms. So Chris, tell us a little bit about Crab Feast. Crab Feast. How did this come to be? Crab Feast, we just thought there's an opportunity. You know, we do a, a very successful lobster night already. I thought, you know what, let's try it on another night, another theme night, right? Crab, everybody loves crab. I love crab, right? Oh so man, said, yeah. Let's roll out several different types of crab, do this wonderful buffet spread, and see what happens. And tonight's the first night we're doing it, and it seems to be pretty successful. Yeah, it's pretty busy in here, and actually, I saw it was, it was five different kinds of crab, right? That is correct. So what did you have? You had Jonah crab? And... Yeah, so to give you a little breakdown, we had two different types of hot crab, snow, okay. snow crab, uh, we had Dungeness crab, we had Jonah crab claws that's chilled, we have soft shell crabs that's nice and deep fried with some dirty rice, and we do a nice little crab salad that we have as well. Oh, man, so there's a little bit of crab in the appetizer, a little bit chilled. Some warm, you got all different kinds of crab for tonight. You did a lobster <laughs> night like nobody else. It's a one of a kind, and this is no different. Nobody else does five different kinds of crabs. You guys are amazing. I appreciate that. You know, we, just, we want to do something different, something fun, bring the buffets back. You know, this whole time with COVID and all that, no buffets were open. And yeah. we got an opportunity to finally open up the buffet again and say, you know what, we're just going to make people happy, bring everybody back into Vegas, old school buffet style, opulence, you know, five crabs. Who does five crabs? Nobody. We're you doing five crab. You guys are the only ones. That's right. But yeah. you guys are the only ones doing whole lobster. I'm telling you, you guys got to get down to the palm. It's just incredible here. The atmosphere is amazing. I tried some of that pork porchetta. Yeah. yeah. Man, that was like so like moist and juicy. It was amazing. So you need to watch that segment where I try that because you're going you're gonna to love it just looking at it. You're going to want to come and run down here. If you're looking at some of the other buffets on the strip and you're looking at the palms, the quality is what makes this place like no other. You see some of the other buffets, they're huge and they put out quite a bit, but you come here, I'm telling you, I had some coconut gelato and I don't know, you have coconut gelato that has little pieces of coconut inside of it. Ultimately, we're, we're having fun here. I have a great team that's with me back here. It's not all by myself. They have a whole big hand in this and I couldn't be even more blessed to have them with me. So. Our success is truly attributed to everyone that's working here. Come on down to the Palms, check us out. Wednesday's lobster, Thursday's our, our crab night, Friday is crab and prime rib, Saturday, Sunday is our brunch, obviously. And here's a, a, a thing that's new. Ooh, new. Every last Saturday of the month, we're doing a theme night. And this Saturday is going to be our first night, which is Hawaiian themed, but we're going to have Italian, Latin, Mexican, you name it, we're going to figure something out. But that's something that's going to be a surprise for everyone. Awesome. So you got to check out those theme nights, too. You not only reopened it, but you're killing it. I appreciate so, it. Very humble. Thank very you, humble. Chris. Thank you. And we'll see you again yeah. soon. Come we'll see down. you for Hawaiian night, I'm Thanks sure. <laughs> right on. Aloha. <laughs> So like we said, it's Thursday, it's Crab Feast Night, and let's take a look. We are definitely gonna be feasting on some crab here. We got soft shell crab, there's snow crab and Dungeness crab over here. We got the Jonah crab, and then crab salad. Pretty good spread, I can't wait to dig in. Start things off with the soft shell crab. And it tastes amazing. Oh man, you can taste the crab. 
The breading is consistent, but it's not overbearing. It is delish. I'm gonna try a little bit of the crab salad. Let's see. Mm, looks so good. Super fresh. Next, I'm gonna try one of these Philly sushi rolls. Fresh salmon in there. So fresh. Really, really delicious. But well, let's give one of these Jonah crab claws a shot. These are chilled. The other crab legs are warm. But let's look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, the mother load. So good. Just get all this fresh crab meat right off of here. Look at that. Oh, man. Oh, it's so good. Really, really fresh and delicious. They did a great job. So I got two plates of crab legs and they're mixed. I have some snow crab and I have Dungeness crab. I'm gonna dig in here. I wanna get one of these really thick crab legs. Look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. That's how you know you have fresh crab when the meat just slides right out of the bone. Oh man, that's so good. I want to try one of the Dungeness crab legs. Oh, look at that Dungeness crab. Nice texture. Let's give it a taste. Really, really yummy. It's meaty too. I really like that. Super meaty. What you got there? Ooh, it looked like crawfish, some corn, potato, shrimp, clam. So in other words, you got yourself a nice crawfish boil. I think maybe because if you like, if somebody like crawfish, then they're gonna take only crawfish, maybe. <laughs> I'm sure. Ooh, this looks nice. Look fresh too. They warm their temperature? Yes. Perfect. Let's see if it's spicy. Some place they make it spicy. All right. Let us know. I guess we got a good piece of meat on this one. Yeah. Yeah. Spicy, not spicy? Not no. spicy, all right. Not spicy for me. <laughs> <laughs> you like it in the shrimp? All right, so the biggest question is, they have snow crab, Jonah crab, and Dungeness crab. Which crab did you like the most? Dungeness crab. You like I like Dungeness this crab. pie the most because when I collect it now, it have a lot of meat. I like snow crab too, but this one tastes better. <laughs> you don't see it as often in a buffet, but you get it at the crab feast here at the prom. So everyone comment below if you could have all these different kinds of crab, which one would be your very favorite? All right, I am gonna try some of the porchetta. Looks tender, look at how soft that is. Real easy to cut into it. Wow, look at that. It looks moist, let's see how it tastes. Mm. Mm. So good. Mm. That is like bursting with flavor. It's warm, it's at temperature. It's unbelievable. You gotta come down here and try this. I like the rare piece. And we have some gravy on it. Here, let's get that piece up right here. Mm. This is good. It's warm, it's tasty, it's moist, I mean, we put some gravy on there, but I really wouldn't need to. It is delicious. I can't believe it. Mm. I'm in heaven. The seasoning on here is off the hook. It's so good. You made me hungry. Feed me some. You want some? Yeah. Mmm, yummy. It's moist, right? Yeah. What about that, that seasoning? That seasoning's incredible, isn't it? Yeah. Right on the edge there. Huh. Mm. 
I'm glad we didn't forget that this was here because it's crab feast night and all I've been doing is eating crab. Say thank you to me because I get that. Thank you Mrs. Explore Vegas. So this is so yummy, I've eaten the whole thing up, but I've actually learned it's not prime rib, it's prime tri-tip. And it's so delicious and juicy and seasoned just right and warm. Man, like everything you could ask for. Ugh. I am gonna try some of this fresh salmon. Look at that. So juicy looking. Wow, that is fresh. Amazingly yummy. So the salmon is fresh and juicy. Now we got the brisket. So I asked for some brisket. He actually gave me a big old chunk of it. This is smoked. So let's see. and taste the smoky flavor. But even with the smoky flavor, it's still moist on the inside. Yeah, I'm gonna turn it around here. All right, we're gonna try some of the desserts. I have some gelato. I got coconut flavor. Mmm. That is good gelato. We got some Oreo. Let me get my spoon. Give this a shot. And it tastes as good as it looks too. There's a little strawberry cake. Mm -mm. Not sure if this is chocolate or mocha over here, but I'm gonna give it a shot and find out. Let's see. And it is mocha. All right, on this one, I don't know if it's creme brulee or custard. Kind of tastes like custard. It's good. I'm guessing this is like a strawberry shortcake. When you get in here, you see there's some of the strawberry topping in here. And that's what it is. Oh, man. This one's good. From start to finish. Such high quality here. Some final thoughts on La Palm's AYCE Thursday Night Crab Feast Buffet. They definitely keep their promise of a crab feast. This is currently the only buffet in Vegas that serves five different kinds of crab and the only buffet in Vegas that serves Dungeness crab or softshell crab. The salmon, crawfish boil, sushi, and shrimp cocktail complement the crab nicely. If someone in your party does not like seafood, they're still in for a real treat. The porchetta, tri-tip, and brisket are bursting with flavor. They pay attention to detail here. Food is served fresh and at the appropriate temperature. It's worth every penny at the price point of $58.99. The Palms AYCE is definitely a leader in post-pandemic buffets. Come on down and give the AYCE a try. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and drop us a comment below. It helps the channel tremendously. It's always a good day to explore Vegas.